Let's look at final exam question number 66 in Physics Demystified, second edition. Question number 66 in the final exam. If you have the printed book, please refer to page 528. We're talking about an ideal system of moving masses. Each one of these black dots here is a, represents a mass or an object with mass, like say a bunch of meteoroids in outer space. These arrows represent the velocity vectors of these masses, or you can think of them uh, as the momentum vectors if you like. These masses are all moving around. It's what we call an ideal system where there's no real-world imperfections like friction or anything like that. Meteoroids or asteroids or things like that in the vacuum of space or the near vacuum of space are an excellent example. Suppose that two of these objects collide. The total system momentum will remain constant as long as the mass of the whole system doesn't change. So that is to say, if assuming that none of these things change mass and that no new ones come in to the system, or none of these leaves the system, as long as it's a closed system like that, then we can expect that the total momentum, that is if we add up all these momentum vectors taking into account both magnitude and direction, even if collisions occur amongst these masses, the total system momentum will remain the same as long as the total mass does not change. And that is choice A.